In this paper, we present a novel system integration to handle navigation among movable obstacles using visual feedback via photorealistic simulation. In the past, the majority of mobile robot navigation research has been focused on obstacle avoidance from standard graph-based to reinforcement learning-based methods, fast planning to avoid static or moving obstacles has been developed very, very successfully, as you can see in this video. In early 2000, some researchers, including Max Tillman, started working on a different problem where a robot needs to navigate an environment where movable objects might exist. Uh, for instance, uh, in this image, a robot can cross a room only by pushing a chair aside. The problem is called navigation among movable objects or obstacles, or uh, NAMO in short, uh, and it's theoretically proved to be uh, MP-complete. Uh, in this work, uh, we investigate how a photorealistic simulator, such as the NVIDIA Isaac Sim, can be used to utilize developments for solving challenging problems such as uh, the NAMO one. Uh, here you see a setting where a mobile robot is in a virtual environment with walls and a set of boxes, uh, a heavy one and a light one, uh, which are placed in such a way to block a passage um, for the robot. The advantage of using uh, photorealistic simulation uh, to deal with research and development on this problem is uh, the minimization of the effort to deal with sim to real uh, using the advantage of dealing with object localization easily and path planning and simulation and in, in reality. Our framework is as follows. Uh, firstly, a map of the space is given as input. The map includes only the fixed parts of the environment, uh, such as the wall. Um, a standard graph-based uh, path plan, uh, let's say A star, to a goal is then generated for the robot. The robot is moving on this path, and when an object is localized, uh, the robot replants uh, using some pushing actions uh, to move uh, the obstacles away. If the obstacle or the object's uh, weight is uh, that big, uh, so that, such that it's not movable, then the robot uh, replants. If it is movable, then a set of actions to move it aside and, and free the passage is followed. Uh, the graph-based path planning method works iteratively uh, to free the path to the goal, even when multiple objects are present and one is blocking the other. And here is the graph of uh, what I explained. Now, the advantage of the photorealistic simulator is that all this process can take place in the same environment where obstacles are recognized. A path can be generated and the robot can navigate to the goal by manipulating uh, movable obstacles, uh, both in simulation and in, in, in the reality. Uh, and this is a video uh, that demonstrates that uh, a path is generated without considering any obstacle, but only the walls of the room. When an obstacle is detected and localized, the robot plans with some pushing actions to move it aside. If the obstacle is too heavy, then it replants and plans pushing actions to other obstacles in the scene, which results in a free path uh, to the goal. Uh, here you see a demonstration with QR code or uh, object recognition that takes a mobile robot, uh, omnidirectional uh, wheeled robot, from one place to the other. Uh, we show uh, the same uh, type of experiment in the real world without the need to apply any further uh, sim to real method. So here you see the robot detecting um, an obstacle, uh, move it aside, cleaning the path, clearing the path and uh, reaching the goal. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, listening.